Please be seated. Frederick Stoss, Mace Bear, Chair of the Faculty Senate and Librarian, will now officially open the ceremony. Mr. Stoss. The graduates, the candidates for degrees, the faculty, the staff, and the parents, the families, and friends of the graduates and candidates are now assembled. I hereby declare this commencement of the University at Buffalo School of Engineering and Applied Sciences to be open. Thank you, Mr. Stoss. I'm Jeff Arrington, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Education, Professor in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering, and the Herald for today's ceremony. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences Commencement Ceremony. This is the first year that we have two graduate commencement ceremonies. At this ceremony, we recognize degree recipients from the departments of chemical and biological engineering, civil, structural, and environmental engineering, electrical engineering, materials design and innovation, as well as recipients of our interdisciplinary degrees. Our banner carrier today was Dhruv Dangwal, candidate for Master of Science degree in Engineering Science with a focus in data science. As we begin today's ceremony, I ask that you take a moment to turn off all cell phones and other electronic devices. Thank you. If able, Please stand, remove your caps, and turn your attention to the screen for the National Anthem. It is sung by Emery Redfern, a music theater student from UV's Class of 2023. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free Please be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce our platform party. Satish K. Tripathi, our university president. Kemper E. Lewis, dean of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Members of the university's senior leadership, associate deans, department chairs, and SUNY distinguished faculty. And our honored guests and speakers. I would now like to invite President Tripathi to provide his greetings. President Tripathi. Good afternoon. Welcome to the friends and family joining us for this joyous occasion. Like you, we take immense pride in your graduate of our entire class of 2023. With that, I would ask our guests and members of our UB community to join me in a round of applause for the graduates of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Congratulations. Graduates, all you have achieved over the course of your education, the lesson learned, the personal and professional strides you have made, 
everything is reflected in the cap and gown you wear today. Since the Middle Ages, this regalia has been a symbol of intellect and authority. To further reflect on the tradition, the word commencement comes from the Latin inceptio, or beginning. If you think about it, there's something of a contradiction embedded in this centuries-old rite of passage. On one hand, you have earned the status, status of intellectual authority. On the other, you are at the beginning of a journey, a novice in some respects. So which is it? Today, I humbly ask you to embody the disduality by embracing the role of a lifelong learner, one who has amassed the knowledge to be considered an authority, but has the wisdom to appreciate there is much more to know and understand. Not only about your profession, but the world. So as you wear the vestments of intellectual authority from the distance past and prepare for a new beginning in our 21st century world, I have another question for you. What are you going to bring on this journey? I hope your packing list includes a well-loved UB hoodie that you will continue to wear with pride. But I'm really talking about the intangibles, the things you carry in your head and heart, like your memories of UB, the friendship you have made, the expertise you have gained, in some, the intellectual authority we celebrate today. Above all, it is my greatest hope that as you commence through life's journey, you carry with you UB's mission of excellence and impact. You have lived the UB's mission in your strong work ethic and your commitment to your discipline. You have demonstrated it in your compassionate engagement with your classmates and society at large. Now that you are on the brink of graduating, I would argue that it is more important than ever that you carry this mission with you. With your mission in your heart, you will have the vision to see our shared humanity even in polarizing times. You will elevate the public discourse with seasoned, reasoned, fact-based contributions and with respect uh, of opposing viewpoints. In times of challenge and strife, you will not respond with reflexive panic or blame. Instead, you will work calmly, taking major risks towards sustainable solutions. With our mission as your guide, you will make your way through the world with your eyes trained not on the bottom line, but the greater good. Graduates, if we have done our job, your UB education has primed you for a life of service and purpose. Of course, you will encounter setbacks and experience the sting of disappointments. These are, after all, part of the human condition. But I'm confident you have everything you need to face these obstacles with resilience and persistence. And so today, as you commence on your journey, pack wisely. And please accept my best wishes for the road ahead. Once again, congratulations to the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, class of 2023. Thank you, President Tripathi. I would now like to invite Kemper Lewis, Dean of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, to give his remarks.
It is my heartfelt pleasure to congratulate all of you on behalf of the faculty and staff in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. We are extremely proud of each and every one of you. Despite being one of the top schools of engineering and applied sciences in the country, we are never content. Despite successfully completing a significant accomplishment with your degree that we celebrate together today, our hope is that you are never content. You see, because we are not content, we are driven by our why, why we do what we do. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. captured our why best when he said, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. So first, don't be content with your level of intelligence, understanding, and knowledge. While today is a goal accomplished, adopt a growth mindset because growth is the only way to ensure that tomorrow is better than today. There is a law of leadership called the law of the process. It says that leaders are developed daily, not in a day. It's your commitment to daily growing, daily learning, and daily investing in yourself and in others that compounds and eventually results in milestone events like today it results in dream jobs and being part of something much bigger than yourself. Invest in, your, in yourself by surrounding yourself with great people. Listen to great podcasts, read great books, visit great places, and attend great events. Secondly, invest in the growth of your character. We hear weekly about leaders whose character just could not keep them where their competence took them. Eventually, low character catches up. You see, character provides the ceiling to our growth. Strong character, it protects your talent. A recent survey of 1,300 corporate executives were asked to list the top five characteristics of people who will achieve the highest level of success and significance in their companies. Every one of those 1,300 executives listed integrity which is a critical character trait, as one of the top five. And 70% of them listed integrity as the number one predictor of success. I close with a timeless truth from King Solomon who noted in one of his many proverbs that the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul. We celebrate how sweet today is to each of you, your friends, and your family members. My deepest congratulations to you all. Go Bulls. Thank you, Dean Lewis. Each year, the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences gives its highest honor, the Dean's Award for Achievement, to someone who has made a significant contribution to the practice of engineering or the applied sciences and or has had an exceptional professional career. I would like to invite Dean Lewis to introduce the recipient of the 2023 Dean's Award for Achievement. It is with great pleasure that the school celebrates Laura J. Pyrak Nolte, a geophysicist and distinguished professor of physics and astronomy at Purdue University. Dr. Pyrak Nolte earned a Bachelor of Science in Engineering Science from UB in 1981, a Master of Science in Geophysics from Virginia Tech in 1983, and a Doctor of Philosophy in Material Science and Mineralogy from the University of California, Berkeley in 1988. Dr. Pyrak Nolte is an internationally recognized scholar for her work on the mechanisms that underpin seismic processes and complex rock fractures. She looks to understand the evolution of fractures and has developed a scaling relationship between fluid flow and elastic stiffness. In the laboratory, Dr. Pyrak Nolte uses 3D printing to create synthetic rock samples that have been shown to help predict the behavior of rocks in situ. In 2018, Dr. Pyrak Nolte delivered the 21st ISRM online lecture, the first woman to be invited to deliver this prestigious lecture. For her scholarship, Dr. Pyrak Nolte has received numerous awards and was elected as a member of many fellows of several organizations, including in 2021, 
the National Academy of Engineering. We are honored to recognize Laura as an alumna of great distinction whose career achievements merit our highest regard. Unfortunately, Dr. Pyrick Nolte was unable to join us today as her son is also graduating this weekend. However, she has recorded some remarks to share with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today, and I want to thank Dean Kemper Lewis and the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences for bestowing this honor on me and providing me with an opportunity to speak to you on this important occasion. To the students graduating, congratulations on your accomplishment. This is just one step in your life's journey. Now, I want to keep my remarks short so you can get on to your celebrations. So I'm just going to mention three ideas. The first one is what's next? Some people may tell you at this point, you should envision what you want to do and just go for it. But I'm telling you not to worry if you don't know where you want to be. When I was sitting there 42 years ago, on the day I graduated from UB, I tried to envision my future, and all I saw was a blank slate, it was pitch black. I didn't see a path, I didn't think about a path, but instead I was just interested, what's next? What's the new adventure? Whether it was going to a new school for other degrees, or looking in the lab, what was gonna happen next, or running for positions in professional societies. I was always interested in what was the next phase, curiosity driven, novelty driven, what's next? This can lead to a very interesting journey through life. Now you might ask, is this a smooth path? Well, of course not. Every journey has its ups and downs. It's like climbing a mountain. If you're trying to get to the top, you can see that it's close and you're like, wow, I'm almost there. But often the trail will go down or it'll flatten out. And at that point, if you just keep persevering, you know you'll eventually reach the top. It may not happen as quickly as you like. You might have to stop along the way, or other times you just turn the corner and you're there. My trail was heading up from BS to master's to PhD, but then suddenly I was on the downslope. I couldn't get a job. I got a one-year temporary appointment, but then I got a job a hundred, just 100 miles away from my husband. And after five years of working that, I was able to come back and work at the same university with him and a brand new job and have a whole new adventure. Now, if you're thinking about this what's new approach, it's sort of like going down a river and wanting to see what's around the next bend. And this leads to the important second idea, which is being open to opportunities. So if you're going down this river, what happens if you see a waterfall? Well, you will either look for opportunities to get off the river or to change your path. Being open to opportunities, though, just isn't about switching fields or switching jobs. A key factor in looking back over my career was being open to opportunities. Many times in my career, I was asked, would you be willing to, could you be part of, can you contribute to? And I would just respond, okay, because I wanted to help out and I knew it'd be a new adventure. But an important aspect of this being open to opportunities includes the theme of be generous with your time, your attitudes, acceptance of people, and willingness to listen. There are people that you know that help you and people that you never meet who help you. In life, it's important to be generous in mind, heart, spirit, and willingness, and to help others because it's the human connections that often define the success in life. Now, I'm not a success because I worked alone. There were generous people, supportive people, informal mentors, you know, just people you meet while you're traveling, as well as my graduate students and undergrads working in my laboratory. They all helped me to succeed and contributed to my success. And so this brings me to my final idea. It's not original, and you've probably heard it a thousand times, and that's find your passion. And sometimes we don't recognize what our passion is, or we think a passion needs to be deep. But one time, an undergraduate who was working in my lab asked me, why are you working in geophysics? I said, well, I used to collect rocks as a child. And he said, oh, you pick them up and hold them in your hand and ask, how did these form? And I said, no, I just like them because they're pretty. And so to this day, I still collect rocks and I still find them pretty. But this interest, this passion I had morphed into something deeper, which is looking at how rocks are affected by stress, high temperatures, and react with different fluids and chemicals. All of this, which is important for many of our societal needs, 
from geothermal energy recovery, water security, to waste isolation. So remember, you're on a life journey. Some will use a map and others will just go with the flow. If you go with the flow, think about the what's next approach. But remember, you have to be open to opportunities, which involves a form of being generous and wrap that in your passion. Thank you, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations to Dr. Pyrek Nolte. We'd now like to introduce the student speaker, Tashfia Mosharraf Mohana. Tashfia is from Bangladesh and is a candidate for the doctoral degree in environmental and water resources management. Tashfia. Thank you for this opportunity to speak here today. To my fellow graduates of the class of 2023, who have worked really hard to reach this goal, to our families back home and at UB, who have made this journey easier, and to my Abu and Amu, who are somewhere here today, <laughs> for their unwavering support, we made it. As we leave here today with our degrees in STEM, we have the training and skills to solve some of the world's greatest challenges. But I want to talk about a different kind of tool that is just as vital, kindness. Let me tell you a story of a girl, an environmental engineering master student who's battling clinical depression. One morning in December 2017, she is sitting blank-eyed across her professor, not knowing what to do with her life, tears rolling down her face. Today, that girl stands before you, having completed both her master's and her PhD. Well, almost. <laughs> Had my professors, Dr. Nalam and Dr. Aich, not been my rock support back then, would I be standing here today? I doubt it. Had I not come out of my advisor Ning's office after every meeting feeling I got this, would I have made it? No chance. God knows how many times a simple, hey, how have you been? From Daryl, our custodian at Jervis, was the highlight of my entire day. Or what relief, a, hey, I'll get your late fees waived from Jackie, our academic coordinator brought to an international student like me. We all have a Ning, a Daryl, a Jackie in our lives. And it's people like them who make this world a more hopeful place. Today, with the impacts of a pandemic still lingering, conflicts and disasters occurring in real time across the globe, and deep divisions in our societies, kindness is more important than ever. As the saying goes, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Whether in scientific collaboration, innovation, or public policy debates, keeping kindness at the core helps us make progress together. As we begin the next chapter of our lives, we will have opportunities to lift others up, to ease suffering, to make someone's day just a bit brighter. Let's take all those opportunities. We are a class diverse in backgrounds, in experiences, and in perspectives. Let's own that diversity as a strength. Let's bring voices to the table that haven't been heard before. As we leave here today, let's take all we have learned in the classroom and in life and go make a difference in the world. But above all, let's be kind. Thank you, and congratulations once again to the class of 2023. Thank you, Tashfia. Tashfia was the winner of the Graduate Student Speaker Competition. She was chosen by a committee comprised of faculty and staff and will receive a 2023 class ring. Congratulations, Tashfia.
Graduation marks the culmination of your academic experience here at UB, and this ceremony celebrates your success. The degrees authorized by the trustees of the State University of New York will now be conferred by President Tripathi. The candidates will be presented by Dean Lewis. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise if you are able and remain at your seats. President Tripathi, on behalf of the faculty of the university, I have the honor of recognizing these candidates. They have met all the requirements of the university and are recommended to you by the faculty for the master's degree. By the authority of the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York and the council and the faculty of the university at Buffalo, I now confer upon you the master's degree with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations. <laughs> Students, please be seated. We will now ask each group to come forward as directed by a faculty marshal to be greeted by President Tripathi, Dean Lewis, and your department chair. When you have crossed the stage, please return to your seat via the center aisle. Names will be read by Professors Ravi Ranade and by Sharke Mazumder. It is requested that the audience hold their applause until all candidates for a given degree have had their names read. We also request that you do not come forward to take photographs during the ceremony. There is an official photographer who will take photographs of every degree recipient as they cross the stage. We will begin with the Master of Engineering degree recipients in Chemical Engineering. Vedang Patel. James Billingham. Julia Deal. Uma Subramanian. Krish Subramanian. Rohit Tananki. Sahirti Doda, Shringa Nagaraj, Congratulations, Master of Thank Engineering you, recipients, Dilakshana Ranjit, Aishwarya Kanchi Ranganath. That was a false start. We had two additional chemical engineers. Congratulations, <laughs> chemical engineers. We will continue with the Masters of Social Studies May. in Data Science and Applications. Malika Suri. Shaktiwil Gunasan, <laughs> Saif Gangaram, Yugendar Gopishetti, Subramanya Surya Kiran Gorti Venkata, Venkat Sai Kamala Magari, Abhinav Ramini, Dashrat Ram Reddy Tegula, Venkat Adit Janapati, Abhishek Srinivasan, Amar Darwarkar, Pauline Grace, Nivya Rajesh Bekal, Vishal Ajit Matthew, Harsh Nisar, Sandhya Medam, Savitri Vemparala, Shiva Gigar Gigajarla, Virang Rawat, Aditi Sate, Prashali Kulkarni, Chinmay Katpato, Sukrut Satya Nadayana Vasis, Suraj Varadwaj, Vishal Sai Gadige, 
Ratna Sri Gannamani, Meghna Jamwala, Krishna Charan Tota, Krishna Babu Vakka Patla, Harsha Venkata Sai Prasad Villa, Manikanta Alludi, Rishike Suvarna, Sai Advi, Venkata Sani Ratti Illu Kudi, Nikhil Doda, Mayank Veer, Vamsi Krishna Maradana, Suman Chang, Rajanisan Chaudhary Mallari, Krishna Chaitanya Vodavula, Nageshwara Chaitanya Pullela, Sri Harsha Gulla Palli, Venkata Sri Kartik Dhammaraju, Manis Bhumi Reti, Sujani Vimjam, Rakesh Korapati, Abhishek Chikatrimala, Likesh Krishna Karna Muralidhar, Meghna Pagula, Reddy Srinivas Godi, Pavan Sai Harshwardhan Kota, Swayanuk Kundu, Tamil Saran Tangavel, Aniket Maheshwari, Harini Narayanan, Revant Krishna, Joel James, Nirmalayan Mohanarangan, Sri Ram Subramanya, Shravya Yarmal, Somit Kumar Anantula, Saiteja Gangavaram, Nirup Soma, Rahul Reddy Manda, Rahul Sabineni, Bhadra Shah, Sai Pavan Reddy Vontedu, Madhav Sai Vemana Cherukuri, Nilay Patel, Ravi Dayani, Grishma Dihora, Charmi Sheladia, Yash Nimse, Soma Shukla, Prathames Kanwade, Akshant Kadupayab Malchinna Sami, Avishek Pugazindani, Sri Balaji Murugandan Dham, Venkata Sai Fanisha Chillaveni, Kishore Kumar Poduli, Jaswan Chitlaka, Nitin Sai Jalukuru, Yeswan Nela Kurti, Anjali Tanikela, Pankaj Prajapati, Harshabhartan, Sanchit Kurana, Subham Roy, Vaishnavi Sanghani, Siddhant Gupta, Ganeshwati Anna Paditti, Ajay Chilukuri, Purna Somya Satyavada, Sujita Mudunuri, Nishala Madhupuri, Sri Ram Datta Madhipatla, Sai Saket Sharma Kolachala, Sri Sai Chaitanya Boburi, Navyaka Kandula, Bala Sai Krishna Maduluri, Congratulations, Master of Professional Studies recipients.
And now, the Master of Science recipients, starting with Chemical Engineering. Sunak Shri Shirsat. Sakti Adarsh Azgar Gopinath. Radha Krishna Kumar. Arun Singh. Vaishali Prabhu. Pat Milligan. Nathan Stavaz. Michael Chan. Liam Geonis. Manas Agarwal. Tisha Dabi Party. Anirutta Datta. Durga Chivukula. Harshit Samani. Minky Wan. Sweta Singh. Sri Ram Tendulkar. Vadun Reddy Sati. Congratulations, chemical engineers. <laughs> Distinguished guests, our Master of Science in Civil Engineering recipients. Sidratul Mantaha. Vinke Chen. Isha Blagan. Paul Millikan. Jacob Valenci, Jato Wu, Walter Mialski, James Lang, Ismat Uzunair, Ashim Korala, Kriti Salwan, Chinmay Girish Kulkarni, Abbas Husseini, Ethan Romando, Harris Ismail, Afif Alama Farabi, Ozan Chalik, Nandan Sadashiv, Paramtap Mitesh Bailal, Rajender Banoth, Sanjay Kumar Reddy Guwala, Yashwant Kadiala. Congratulations, civil engineers. <laughs> Distinguished guests, our Master of Science in Electrical Engineering recipients. Andrew Lorisela. Thomas Kiven. Daniel Pardo, Ema Waldvogel, Mohilton Susai Pillai, Philip Grins, William Gigrich, Alina Kumar Nair, Animes Datta, Silas Srinivasan, Kabyamita Luktar, Arpita David Gitanjali, Vishnu Priya Ganga, Subramani Adaman Malar Kote Krishnamurti, Aksai Chandrasekhar Raikar, Anirudh Pandey, Vasavraj Satyapya Vagal Koti, Path Praful Nayak, Drubal Potla, Alex Versch, Sai Puja Reddy Nadimpali, Akanksha Das, Dylan Tua, Kyle Tung, Scott Deremaya, Devraj Chaudhary, Zakaria Mayo, Malesh Aglu. Subaya Vaitiyantam Ku, Haolon Lu, 
Zhang Zhao Shi, Jiuan Zhao O, Ishita Dopeshwar, Nicholas Dimita, Congratulations, electrical engineers. <laughs> Distinguished guests, our Master of Science in Engineering Science recipients. For this degree, students focus their studies in one of the following areas. Artificial intelligence, clean energy, data science, engineering sustainability, Internet of Things, or Robotics. We will start with recipients with a focus in artificial intelligence. Akar Sood. Surya Teja Bandamudi. Hitesh Balapunaru. Nandini Chinta. Ratik Dubey. Pratiksha Singh, Naman Tejasvi, Nikhil Sharma, Rishikesh Agrawal, Ifi Chuku Okafor, Venkatanan Sai Dukdirala, Lokes Venkates, Manikanta Nala Bolo, Rohit Nair, Gurvinder Singh, Harsit Monis. And now, students with a focus in clean energy. Sri Lalit Mulukala, Amarnath Bala Murali Krishna. And now, our largest group, degree recipients with a focus in data science. Sanmukhi Lavanya Chinta, Jagan Mohan Reddy Danda, Akhil Kumar Bacho, Vishal Kumar Pinisekti, Akhil Kata, Janaki Ram Varada, Naga Parimi, Avinay Kohli. Sarvani Nandi Party, Dipya Reddy Sangapatnam, Venkata Sindhuja Mamiti, Indrani Katumuru, Maruti Garnepudi, Pavan Kumar Taminidi, Charan Kumar Sunkara, Madan Mohan Reddy, Sai Koshik Tedu, Balaram Revant Namburu, Chanmakanan Reddy, Suchitra Nair, Mohit Mathur, Rachit Meshram, Kaviya Vasudevan, Surya Badrinath, Am Amrita Subramanyam, Kamalnath Satyamurti, Sanjay Arivind Loganathan, Yashwant Kumar Reddy, Avantika, Krishnamurti Subramanyam, Dharini Pargunan, Jagdish Raghu, Sri Ram Murli Dharan, Sri Sai Pavan Swamaraju Dandu, Kushmit Shergil, Yashwant Paleti, Pius Kumar, Naris Yadav Pochabedi, Mohit Sar Ramna, Harsit Nadin Dala, Neha Asrani, Prashant Upadhyay, Medha Rajmohan, Pani Bulusu, 
Vivek Rana, Sivam Singh, Achal Kumar, Venkata Siva Subramaniam Gandhuludi, Raghav Maheshwari, Mohi Padihar, Akash Bhatt, Praveer Kothari, Jess Hall Diorkar, Ajinta Atle Atle, Vamsi Adi, Avinas Dupalu Pudi, Sumant Allah, Vamsi Krishna Yadav Kundepu, Ritis Babu, Bhargav Devan Varma Rudra Raju, Tejaswani Sajjala, Vighana Bulle Pali, Hadvika Bode Pudu, Shivai Bhavi Chenna, Chaitra Putumbaka, Bhuva Kurupati, Kartik Ralabandi, Ravi Raj Chenna, Sai Varun Meka, Rohit Krishna Konjeti, Atul Mohan Kamre, Akshay Pandey, Ekansh Gupta, Soham Dash, Parth Dilip Manyar, Harshit Patak, Anubhav Sharma, Shayan Adil, Muhammad Faik, Maria Johar, Baswant Chaudhary Vengata, Sandeep Perumala, Cheruka Archita Reddy, Adit Prabhu Kumar, Chetuan Chauhan, Sachin Bettadali Satish Kumar, Prajwal Nataraj, Kritika Balasubramanyan, Samita Gadam, Akhil Niranjan Devidi, Sangjung Park, Isprit Kaur, Abhishek Srivastava, Vishnu Ghosh, Aishwarya Agarwal, Ritam Singh, Ishan Sani, Shreya Joshi, Tushar Kalyani, Soumya Eda Vatkar, Aditi Punacha, Rajib Nagesh, Nikhil Chandra Padun Ranga Vittal, Mehul Reddy Babu, Sai Medini Reddy Mariata, Chaitanya Kuda Party, Spandana Ganji, Pranaya Challa, Dinesh Kumar Katta, Pavna Chandana Sura Sura, Prem Godla, Neha Bhaduriya, Aditya Kuruba, Madhulika Sharma, Nikhil Kumar Dhatrik, Vibe of Kiran Vaskaran. How won? Dennis Chalo. Grishma Matthew. Srivallam Narayan. Serat Chandra Nuttaki. Avash Nupane. Sanjana Chalawadi. 
कौशिक साई कंबपति शुभम सिंह गुरतेग सावन सावने जसकरण सिंह मानिक धवन ध्रुव दंगवाल लगान कुकरेजा शिखा तोमर सुयश कुमार वैभव बोरकार भारती गवाली लवलीन कौर रितु दिमरी कुमार प्रियांश पूजा वानखेड़े आदित्य बनागे जानवी कसुंद्रा तेजस वानदिले तनय गावंडे अर्णव अशांक गुरप्रीत चावला विवेक पाटिल सुमेश खोड़के सत्यम सिन्हा ओंकार राजगुरु साई तेजा मत्तम राकेश यली सेट्टी निकिता मनवानी ब्रियाना राणा रेनिंद अब्राहम नेथनियल जेसन पियूष सिंह भारती श्रीनिवासन साई वेंकट प्रमित गोदिति साई सुजय मसीना धीरज वेदुला तरुण गोली प्रणय कुदुमुरु रोहित दमगेटी मारुति मनोज गोली हर्षवर्धन नक्का स्नेह कुमार प्रदीप जलामाना सुरेश श्री कृष्णन रघुनाथ महाबत नूमन रिजवान जतिन दास नवदित्त गौर भार्गव अरुदीप कोडीपल्ली विष्णुवर्तन कठियापुरम वैशाली देवाड़ा कोंडा यशवंत पवती इंदिवाड़ा कोडम श्रीलेखा कोम्मा विजय लक्ष्मी पोटूला रोहित बसमगरी साईदीप जुलुरी विमोचना कुमार स्पंदना कुंभा कन्नु प्रिया मोहम्मद अली जोवर रामचंद्र वामसी कृष्णा जामा मोहम्मद इमरान अनवर वेंकटेश्वराव पारा यश श्री गणेश अभ्यंकर मनीष अदांकी तेजस खोट हिमांशु शर्मा सागर खंडागले श्रीकार गोपाल अधिने अनूप मैथ्यू पेरिंगलोर श्रेयस खनारे अनंदू नायर विवेक सिंह डेविड वांग वेन जैंग अभिराज बिस्वास प्रियंका साहू वेंकट कौशिक वदलामुडी श्रीकांत भुवनपल्ली मणिदीप गोंगला 
Abhiram Sidoju, Nikilesh Popuri, Gautam Puttaredi, Jay Venkata Matlapuri, Mohit Raja Chawa, Anuda Priyadarsi, Aryan Saini, Pragati Nagar, Megha Chaudhary, Nisha Anderson Bobby, Gurjinkar Kaur, Varsha Thridu Venkata Chari, Sruti Kirti Raja Gopala Krishnan, Kartik Ram Kumar, Om Purahit, Vishwa Gajera, Arpan Korat, Nishi Mandana, Saura Pathak, <coughs> Venkata Satya Surya Sai Vyatana, Akhil Vatla Janardhan, Arun Kumar Muthuswami, Rahul Dhanapal, Ritani Rajeshwari Selvaraj, Sankaram Saravanan, Shraddha Vafade, Madhurima Bhattacharya, Nisark Negi, Siddhi Yadav, And now, students with a focus in engineering sustainability. Alexandra Fletch. Caitlin Ludwig. Wyatt Cudney. Jack Maroon. Mark Rohrbacher. Sydney Schwarzot, Salia Saeed. And now, recipients with a focus in Internet of Things. Rohita Raj Thota, Sampath Garimela, Nagakiran Reddy Karnati. Rachna Pandya, Rahat Bhalla, Lee to follow, Ivan May, David Satterley, Yamini Ayingar, Dan Alex. Nikita Thomas, Neha Mishra, Vignesh Shanmugam, Rohit Raghavan. And last, but certainly not least, recipients with a focus in robotics. Mohammed Mafaz. Alexander Pappas, Ralphie Chetiar, Gayatri Ranade, Chetan Palkar, Ajit Mutalik, Nitis Naineni. Sanihit Kilaru, Akhil Goel, Neil Dosi, Pratik Jaitai, Sivendra Srinapas, Sabiris Brinugopal Sankara Narayana, Udhav Saksa.
Sena, Himatri Doi, Saran Vijayada Govan, Manasa Dumpa, Rajit Haldar, Devika Gunna Panini, Mahabmat Hazik Kazi, Saurabh Desmukh, Pratik Patil, Chi Ho Si, Shingen Shu, Yi Shen Chen, Du Cheng Yin, Eric Chu, Asi Singh, Ui He Ji, Robert Lott, Varun Gupta, Chaitanya Desai, Meet Desai, Rishabh Satish Changani, Babar Saik, Pratik Malani, Yash Shah, Apurva Sunil Chavan, Jay Parikh, Digvijay Patil, Vivek Vadigankar, Muhammad Anas Qureshi, Mustafa Wali, Gulam Murtaza, Venkata Krishnam Raju, Shah Rukh Khan, Ninath Panchal, Afan Ali Hasan Khan, Kushal Sharma, Arshad Khan, Tejaswar Ramachandran, Mason K, Mallar Kirinar, Sahiti Kalwa, Piyush Jain, Harishmukh Suresh Reddy, Muhammad Abdullah Sheikh, Aditya Nitish Kumar Khare, Anurag Pandey, Mevish Shamshad, Shashwat Singh, Kundan Surya Tejananda, Charmin Desai, Srikar Puchamala, Aman Sharma, Krunal Thakkar, Congratulations to all engineering science recipients. <laughs> Distinguished guests, we are going to roll back the program slightly. One of our degree recipients was challenged by a backlog at the border, arrived just recently, and we would like to recognize them now. So here is an additional Master of Professional Studies in Data Science and Applications recipient. Genia Gargi Chakraborty. Congratulations. 
Distinguished guests, our Master of Science in Environmental and Water Resources Engineering recipients. Elizabeth Stowell. Prashant Derikar. Sarah Kissel. Emily Sigelhurst. Emily Blanchard. Charlotte Rutnik. Connor Banuhi. Brittany Malchan. Asanul Haq Tanim. Congratulations, Environmental and Water Resources Engineers. <laughs> Distinguished guests, our Master of Science in Materials Design and Innovation recipients. Rebecca Finster. Sanchit Goel. Chin Rei Lu. Stefani Oteme. Katrina Luchakova. Congratulations, materials scientists. And the last Master of Science program we are recognizing here today, our Master of Science in Sustainable Transportation and Logistics recipients. Nathaniel Niels, Ryan Egan, Danny Avraham Santosh, Thanan Thaneke Kun, Sanan Zing, Mahabmat El Hassan Sid Ahmed, Aniket Sridharang, Nicholas Bolton, Andrea Chandra Moli Gunasekaran. Congratulations, STL recipients. Congratulations again to all of our master's degree recipients. Please also give a round of applause for our valiant readers, Professors Renate and Mazumder. At this time, we will confer our doctoral degrees. Will the candidates for doctoral degrees please stand if you are able and remain at your seats. The candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy will now be presented by Dean Lewis. President Tuprathi, on behalf of the faculty of the university, I have the honor of recognizing these candidates. They have met all the requirements of the university and are recommended to you by the faculty for the Doctor of Philosophy degree. By the authority of the trustees and the chancellor of the State University of New York and the council and the faculty of the University at Buffalo, I now confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations. We will now have the hooding and recognition of our Doctor of Philosophy recipients. Their names will be read by Professors Moides Sudit, Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Education. Students will proceed on stage by discipline to receive their Doctor of Philosophy hoods. Distinguished guests, our Doctor of Philosophy in Chemical Engineering recipients. Tylee Alebrahim, Major Professor Haikwing Lin.
Genji Shang, Major Professor Hai Queen Lin. Devani Chaduri, Major Professor Estelianos Andreadis. <laughs> Piu Merotra, Major Professor Estelianos Andreadis. Vita Nasiri, Major Professor Chiliano Sandreadis. <laughs> Ronel Samuel, Major Professor Chiliano Sandreadis. Emmanuel Jack, Major Professor Pascales Alessandradis. En Sin Yuba. Sin Yuba. Emmanuel Singyumba, Major Professor Pascales Alexandridis. <laughs> Gorav Wishkarkarma, Major Professor Johannes Hagman. Distinguished guests, our Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering recipients, Rodrigo Castillo Perez, Major Professor Negar Elami Corazani and Pinar Okumus. <laughs> Mohamed Sayed. Major Professor Rehad Elami Kosarani and Pimar Okumos. Jung Myung Kim, Major Professor Michael Constantino. Hamed Korasani, Major Professor Shen Duo Shu. Kaivalya Lal, Major Professor Andrew Whitaker. Faisan Ul Hakmir, Major Professor Andrew Whitaker. Oh. 
Sai Sharath Parsi, Major Professor Andrew Whitaker. Jia Hia Liu, Major Professor Michel Bruno. Rahul Rahman, Major Professor Andreas Tarvidis. Distinguished guests, our Doctor of Philosophy in Computational and Data Enabled Sciences recipients. Daniel Finn, Major Professor Matthew Knepley. Abhishek Mishra, Major Professor David Salak and Matthew Gnepli. I'll do my best. Distinguished guests, our Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering recipients, Inem Venkata Anudip Kumar Reddy, Major Professor Joseph Jornet. Hemendra Jaiswal, Major Professor Huamin Min Lee. You don't have to bend. <laughs> Simran Shai, Major Professor Huamin Min Lee. Savarish Krishna Murthy, Major Professor Shang Yu Wan. Vaishak Prathap, Major Professor Albert Titus. Shivam Sharma, Major Professor Utam Singhesedi. Lalith Kishore Marepali, Major Professor Luis Herrera. Sudarsan Sadasibiuni, Major Professor Arindam Sanyal. <laughs> Dr. 
Distinguished guests, our Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental and Water Resources Engineering recipient, Tashfia Mosharaf Mohona, Major Professor Ning Dai, Distinguished guests, our Doctor of Philosophy in Materials Designs and Innovation recipients, Derek Lee, Major Professor Jung Hoon Zhu. <laughs> Jeet Sarker, Major Professor Vaishaki Mazumder. Would all the graduates please stand at this time, if you are able, parents and family and friends, I present to you Class of 2023. Please be seated. I will now invite Jordan Walbesser, Chair of the UB Engineering and Applied Sciences Alumni Association Board, to say a few words. Thank you very much. It is an honor to address you, uh, not as students, uh, but as alumni of the class of 2023. For over 75 years, alumni from our School of Engineering and Applied Sciences have made life better for people in Western New York and around the world. Today, you join and will improve upon this rich tradition of excellence. As we are gathered here today, our world is facing adversity, conflict, and injustice. Our world needs you to boldly solve society's most complex challenges. Our world needs you to help millions accomplish what was thought to be impossible. Our world needs you to engineer a better, brighter future around the world. Our world depends on it. But personal success cannot be your only pursuit. You also have a duty, a responsibility, to mentor and guide future alumni so they can boldly take up the reins of our shared legacy. Allow me to give you a personal example. When I was a student, an alumnus volunteered to lecture during one of my senior seminar classes. He took the time to speak with me after that lecture he stayed in touch with me. He answered my questions and gave me advice. Three years later, I was working alongside him as his colleague. It was through him that my career was launched. And through the generosity of our fellow alumni, I am able to stand before you today. This is just one example of why the University at Buffalo Engineering and Applied Sciences Alumni Association exists, to help you, our alumni, make an impact on the students that come after you. I assure you that these efforts are immensely rewarding. Do not be surprised when the students you sought to impact 
end up having an impact on you. So, on behalf of the University at Buffalo Engineering and Applied Sciences Alumni Association, its board of directors, and the more than 41,000 members who have preceded you, we welcome you with open arms. Build upon our legacy, and don't lose sight of this, that you have the power to make an impact, both in the world and in the lives of our students. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you, Jordan. Class of 2023, I ask that you stay close to your alma mater and come back to campus often so that you can inspire and influence the next generation of engineers and applied scientists. Congratulations, class of 2023. I now ask everyone who is able to please stand and turn your attention to the screen for our alma mater sung again by Emery Redford. The pride of our spirit and tradition, our alma mater's truth and name declare. Celebrate our history and wisdom. Oh, let us all prepare to sing her glory. To Buffalo, all hail to thee. Noble and strong, it's our university. To blue and white, pledge loyalty. Singing, I will always remember thee. Audience, please take your seats and remain seated until all participants and graduates have exited. Participants and graduates, please remain standing at your seats until the platform party have exited, then follow behind as directed by a faculty marshal. Immediately following the ceremony, you are invited to receptions honoring our graduates, families, and friends. Please check the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences website for details. Mr. Stoss will now officially close the ceremony. Mr. Stoss. Thank you. I declare the 2023 commencement of the University at Buffalo School of Engineering and Applied Sciences to be officially concluded.